On today's episode of the Movie Vlog, Fantastic Beasts 2 start filming and brand new story details. Pirates of the Caribbean 5 was not the failure you think it was, and Despicable Me 3 and Baby Driver score big at the box office. Hey guys, and welcome to the Movie Vlog. My name's John Campia, and this is The Daily Show, where I run down the most interesting things that have gone on in the world of movies that day. And we're gonna start with this. It's Monday, the box office report has come out for the 4th of July weekend, and scoring big in first place, was Despicable Me 3. Now, Despicable Me 3 took in over $75 million on its opening weekend. But it's important to keep in mind that while that's a pretty good number, Despicable Me 2 made 83 million on its opening weekend and Minions made 115 on its opening weekend. Could this be a sign that Despicable Me, the franchise, might be getting a little bit tired? Now, I did a review of Despicable Me 3. You can find it here on the YouTube channel. And I love this franchise, but I wasn't completely thrilled with Despicable Me 3. It might be time to retire this franchise. What did not disappoint at all was Edgar Wright's new film, Baby Driver, which came in the number two spot on the box office. Now, my review for Baby Driver is also up on my YouTube channel. This is a fun, invigorating, exciting, quick-witted, very fast-paced movie that I think is one of Edgar Wright's best. Now you might be thinking $21 million doesn't sound like a huge opening weekend, but keep this in mind. It's more than double of Edgar Wright's previous best opening weekend. His previous best opening weekend was for his great film, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which only made about $10 million. His follow-up film to that world's end only made about $8 million. So taking in $21 million guarantees Baby Driver will probably end up being the number one box office film in Edgar Wright's career. For some reason, Transformers The Last Night is still allowed to exist, and it's still in the box office. Came in third place in the box office week, but it dropped over 60%, 62% be exact, it came in third place with $17 million. Now, opposite of that is Wonder Woman, a film that's doing very well. Audiences and critics are really liking it. It only dropped another 35%, making another $16 million in its impressive run. And Cars 3 came in fifth place, dropping 60.4%, making $9.5 million. It should also be noted that coming in sixth place, failing to make the top five, was a new Will Ferrell, Amy Poehler comedy, the House. I have my review up for it here on my YouTube channel. The film did not even deserve making $9 million. Moving on to our next story, nowhere to be found in the top five of the box office is, of course, the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Now, this is a movie that has seemingly come and gone from our consciousness pretty fast. Like, nobody's even thinking about this movie anymore, despite the fact that it only came out a few weeks ago. However, you'd be mistaken to think that the film's a big failure. One of my favorite sites online is a website called Cinema Blend, and they put up a really interesting article reminding us that this film is not a failure. As a matter of fact, while we may look at that domestic number that Pirates of the Caribbean 5 made 165 million at the domestic box office, the fact of the matter is it has now grossed over $700 million worldwide. Now, yes, that's a far cry from the billion dollar club that we're used to seeing Pirates of the Caribbean movies make, and yes, it is a downward trajectory, but $700 million dollars is something that most studios would take with most movies any day of the week. At $700 million, that means that once again, this Pirates of the Caribbean movie is a smash success. The question is, is it a big enough success to warrant Disney to make yet another Pirates of the Caribbean movie? Now, if you saw part five, you know they left a door open there to possibly do a part six to maybe wrap up the franchise. I don't know. But there are two things to keep in mind. Number one, it is quite a big downward trajectory. It didn't make the billion dollars like they used to, but $700 million is still an awful lot of cash, which means there's a lot of people in the world that still want to go out and see Pirates of the Caribbean movies. If you were an exec at Disney, forget about whether you like the movies or not, but if you were an exec at Disney, taking those two things in consideration, the downward trajectory of the box office, but it still made $700 million, would you greenlight a part six? Let me know in the comments section below. And finally, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them officially began production on their sequel today. That's right, cameras are rolling. Now, I'm not exactly a huge Potter fan. I'm not what you would call a Potterous hardcoreous. I probably shouldn't say that. This sounds like a Harry Potter porn parody. But I do enjoy the Harry Potter movies and I quite enjoyed Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Well, not only did they announce that they began production today, they also released story details for what the sequel's gonna be about. Here's what they had to say. J.K. Rowling wrote the screenplay for the film, which opens in 1927, a few months after Newt helped to unveil and capture the infamous dark wet wizard, Gellert Grindelwald. 
However, as he promised he would, Grindelwald has made a dramatic escape and has been gathering more followers to his cause, elevating wizards above all non-magical beings. The only one who might be able to stop him is the wizard he once called his dearest friend, Albus Dumbledore. But Dumbledore will need help from the wizard who had thwarted Grindelwald once before, his former student, Newt Scamander. Academy Award winner Eddie Redmayne is, of course, returning as Newt Scamander. Johnny Depp is back as Grindelwald. And Jude Law takes on the role of the younger Albus Dumbledore. I'm actually really looking forward to this film. I think they got off to a nice start with that first film. Let's see if they can build on that success. Okay, guys, that'll do it for this installment of the movie vlog. Tell me, what do you think about this week's box office breakdown? Do you think Pirates of the Caribbean 5 was a failure or not? And are you looking forward to this new Fantastic Beast and where to find them? And what did you think about the little synopsis they gave. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's absolutely free. Make sure you're following me on social media, on Facebook and on Twitter, just at John Campia. That'll do it for me, guys. I'll be back again tomorrow. And until next time, bye-bye.